Okay, so given this directed graph, determine how many paths of length 4 or 5 exist from C to A. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to make our adjacency matrix. And so I go through and recognize it's directed, so I'm going to go A does not go to A, it goes to B, it does not go to C, it does not go to D. B does, goes to A, does not go to itself because there's no loop here. It does go to C, but it does not go to D. C does not, does not, does not, it only goes to D. And finally, D goes to A and to B, but that is it. So 1, 1, 0, 0. So here is my adjacency matrix. And if I want to find the path of length 4 or 5, then I want to find out m to the power 4 plus m to the power 5. This will give me how many paths it will be from any two vertices of length 4, and this is of length 5. So if I go to my calculator, I've already taken the liberty to throw it into my matrix A is already set to be m here. So I want this to the power of 4 oh, plus again to the power of 5. And so I can pull this down here. And so it wants to know how many go from A, C to A. So this is C, this is A going in this way and out. So there are three possible paths that are four or five lengths. Or, and I should be more specific by saying uh, these are probably going to be walks as opposed to paths. This should say walks because it will repeat vertices at times.